This is CBS News, Philadelphia, and the gun violence continues. Five people are injured in a drive-by shooting in Feltonville. Our chopper was over the scene this evening where police say the victims were holding a vigil for a victim shot earlier this month. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartalia. Police believe they found the car involved in the drive-by shooting, but right now, no one is in custody. CBS Philadelphia's Carrie Carrado is at police headquarters right now with our coverage tonight. Carrie? Yuki, Jessica, good evening. Police say this drive-by shooting happened at a vigil. Now, at this point tonight, police say they are still searching for the shooter or shooters. Police taped off D Street and Wyoming after they say five people were shot, three men and two women around 8:40 Tuesday night. All were taken to the hospital and are in stable condition. Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw says the crowd was gathered for a vigil in regards to a shooting that happened in the area on July 5th. You can see candles burning in the corner. Police say that's when all five victims were hit by bullets during a drive-by shooting. It's unfortunate. While there are those out uh, grieving and mourning the loss of people that they may or may not have known that there was a safety issue there, I will say that we were not aware of the vigil. Investigators could be seen canvassing the area and say they are looking for witnesses and trying to review surveillance video. While we were here, while we responded, we actually recovered what we think is the vehicle uh, that's responsible uh, for the shooting a few blocks from here, about a mile away, and we recovered three three guns. Officers could be seen on the 5,000 block of North 5th Street surrounding the car. They say they are still searching for the shooter or shooters. And police say they're trying to figure out if there's any connection between the July 5th incident and shooting and the shooting tonight. We're live outside of police headquarters tonight. Kerry Carrado, CBS News, Philadelphia.